Japan's Defense Minister Taro Kono has criticized China for its actions in the contested South China Sea in waters close to Japan, days before visiting Beijing to meet his Chinese counterpart, Wei Feng. China is engaging in unilateral and coercive attempts to alter the status quo based on its own assertions that are incompatible with the existing international order, Kono said at the Doha Forum an international conference in Qatar. The senior politician who previously served as foreign minister and has been touted as a potential successor to Prime Minister Shinzo Abe added that Japan is also concerned about China's rapid enhancement of its military power without transparency, including its nuclear and missile capabilities, it was reported. The rule of law, which is of critical importance to global stability and security, is a value shared by the international community including China, he said, adding that countries cannot be permitted to expand their spheres of influence by force and aggressors must be forced to pay the cost. India and Sri Lanka's armed forces successfully concluded the seventh edition of the 14-day joint military and army exercise titled Mitra Shakti, it is reported. The exercise held in on military station in Maharashtra state's Pune city was aimed at enhancing the operational efficiency and interoperability between the armed forces from the two neighboring nations. As many as 120 troopers participated in the exercise to better the capability of the two armed forces to undertake joint counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations under the mandate of the United Nations. The statement released by the Indian Army has hailed the exercise as a grand success and noted that conducting such bilateral training exercises is important to uphold the values of peace, prosperity, trust and international brotherhood. Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force JMSDF has ordered three OIG-class MINA-sweeping vessels from Japan Marine United to strengthen its MINA-sweeping capabilities for safety and security of the marine infrastructure. The OIG-class can be used by MINA-sweeping forces of the JMSTF to clear a large number of mines in Japanese territorial waters and ports to protect naval and passenger vessels carrying troops passengers and supplies. The OIG-class vessel has a length of 67 meters, a beam of 11 meters, and a draft of 5.2 meters. The top speed of the OIG, powered by two diesel engines, is 14 knots according to representatives of the Japan Maritime United Corporation. The OIG-class vessel is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a JM-61 RMS 20mm caliber cannon located on the bow deck to provide an anti-aircraft defense. The OIG-class MINA sweeping vessel carries a variable depth sonar system, VDS, at the aft to detect, locate and classify mines, submarines, surface vessels, and other underwater objects positioned at various depths in both shallow and deep water. The VDS can be deployed and retrieved using a winch drum. The ship also carries unmanned underwater vehicles to locate and clear deep mines, and underwater inspection equipment for the inspection of submerged objects. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.